Hey everyone, so I wanted to do a video on this uh, automatic chicken coop door that I installed. Uh, I have a fenced in run, but uh, I still have a fisher cat that can climb the five foot fence, get in there and take my chickens. So we lost basically an entire flock and we just got some new ones in. So I put this new uh, door in. What you're looking at right now is the uh, inside of the coop and the door itself with a um, linear actuator. That goes over to this control center here. And luckily my coop is already wired for electric, right, with AC. So I plugged in a four amp power adapter there. Uh, the linear actuator is rated for three amps. And then up here is the double pull, double throw um, relay. And the timer below it uh, is what actually controls the relay itself. So when this timer is in the off position, okay, right there, you can see it on the, right below the six, uh, it's in the off position and we turn it on, okay, the, coop, the door starts opening. So right now it's the middle of the day and the door should be open. So that's why when you switch it to auto, it automatically opens, okay? And, and then when, <clears throat> when the relay turns off or when the timer turns off, that switches the relay off and the, the door closes. But like I said, this is currently on auto. So if I put it on auto, that light turns on up there and the door opens. Some people have done this with batteries. You can do it with a battery um, and, and like a solar panel, but I'm in kind of a shaded area here. So that didn't. Uh, wouldn't work for me. I have in another video, which I'll link uh, in a card here on the screen now, I have a whole video on how I wired this up to work the way it works, okay? So it's the basically the relay up top there, the timer, and the power adapter there. And uh, I want to show you a couple quick things about the door itself, so stay tuned. So one thing that's important is getting your measurements figured out. Uh, as you can see, the bottom part there doesn't quite reach all the way down to the bottom, all right? That's why I put that piece of strapping, which you can almost see there. If I open it up, you'll be able to see. Put that piece of strapping there to cover a little bit of the gap. And that way, when the door is open, because the actuator only has a 12 inch range. So that way, when the door is open, it'll be fully open and allow the chickens out. Also, uh, and I'm gonna show you, like I said, I'm gonna show you on the outside exactly why I did that. But that strapping is just sits there. right about there okay so gives a little bit of room so the critters can't get their claws in there all right i'll take you outside and show you the outside real quick all right so we're outside here with the door closed and i've had this chicken coop for a while about eight years so it's still holding up pretty good even though a little dirty on the outside but <clears throat> Uh, I put this piece of strapping in here, and I've had that in there for a while because uh, I was finding that a lot of the shavings that I put in uh, were getting in the way. Currently, the coop's empty, so there's no shavings in there. But it's also nice because, as I showed you before, uh, the door doesn't have to come all the way down to the bottom. It comes down to about, about a finger finger height, okay? And it also prevents, even if it were to come down and be flush with the uh, surface of the, the floor of the coop, you know, your shavings might build up in there a little bit and then might cause a problem where, you know, it's pushing against the shavings and the actuator is really straining uh, to close it all the way or it might not close it all the way if, if there's an obstruction, uh, some like some shavings or something like that. This way you have plenty of room, you know, you have a good almost two inches or so of play on the inside. And also it prevents critters from being able to get their hands in there and, and pry open the door, okay? Um, so they're not getting in there. If they can't read the sign, uh, you know, they're still not gonna be able to break in. But what, one thing I did is I put the door on the inside, the automatic door, so that I can use my existing door, you know, in case uh, for whatever reason that one's not working or something gets fried. I'm not rushing around trying to figure out, you know, how I can, um, you know, close up the coop at night and keep the chick chickens safe. So that's what we got going on there. Uh, nice and easy. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, and I think I want to show you one more thing on the inside. One other thing I wanted to mention is when the door is running, I actually unplugged the whole thing here. I'm going to plug it back in. When the door is running, it will actually stop. That actuator will stop, it has an internal switch. And so it'll stop when it reaches the top, okay? 
and we see that right there, it stops, okay? So it's an internal switch. So even though this switch right here, the timer switch is still on and the relay is still on, the actual linear actuator itself has an internal switch that shuts it off so it won't burn out the motor and keep running. Um, <clears throat> for the door, I just kind of did something very simple here on the inside. Just use some strapping. I will say there's a, a decent amount of play here, uh, which I'm not a big fan of, but I, I don't think anything's getting in there. Um, that's not going anywhere. So I put the strapping in there. I think if I were to do this again, I'd probably rip a piece of plywood here instead. And instead of using this uh, piece of strapping, I'd rip a piece of plywood so it was a full thickness and just to get a better bite on the door and maybe a little better overlap. Um, but that's about it. So um, this goes all the way to the top, like I showed you. That's just mounted up there. There's some, um, they come with cotter pins. I put some of these hair pins in so they can quickly detach it, okay? And then the door will come down. After I pull this pin, the door comes down. And then uh, this guy will actually swing up towards me so I can actually slide the door out, but I'm using one hand for the camera. So that way I can easily take the door out if I want to and go back to manual mode, okay? So that's about it. That's all I got. Um, if you guys have any questions, Leave them in the comment section below. Links to uh, will be in the description below to everything, including the video that I made previously on how I wired this whole thing up. I went through it step by step uh, with this exact relay, this exact timer. Everything's exactly the same. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.